Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So while I was on vacation, I was talking to my family and I was just thinking about how I wanted to take my meal planning a step further and really show you a video of the entire process. So what I was thinking and what I researched was how other people really go about their meal planning. And I decided to adjust my program a little bit for you all and see if this is something that will make it a little bit easier for everyone to eat healthy. So step one of this program is to go ahead and look inside your fridge, freezer, and pantry and see what you have before you go onto your local grocery store's website and look at what they have on sale. So I went ahead and I did that and I'm going to show you guys what that looks like okay okay so i'm not gonna lie to you before i went on vacation i really made myself eat the food that we had in the fridge so there's really not that much in here but i will just make a little bit of a note of the stuff that i can use towards ingredients so i see i have a good bit of hummus i see some yogurt in there that i already checked to make sure was good we got tomato sauce, and I'm just gonna write them down on my list here. These leftovers just need to be thrown out with tomorrow's garbage night, so I didn't want the trash or the garbage disposal to be stinky, so I'm just gonna wait on that. We got our extra spaghetti squash that we'll be using, and we got our milk, really. And then inside our veggie drawers, I got a bit of spinach, tomatoes, and carrots. And then this one is just some blueberries and some grapes and a little bit of orange. Uh, the rest of this is really just condiments. But as I'm looking at this, I can tell I could definitely do the spaghetti squash um, with the tomato sauce. And then we're going to look in here real quick and see. So I got looks like two packets of ground turkey so it's perfect i got the ingredients for two meals there and i just have some of uh, kirk's gluten-free amy's burritos for snacks then nothing in our pull-out drawer uh, deli drawer we have some bags of shredded cheese i feel like i'm always buying extra shredded cheese because i never look in this drawer and we got a little bit of turkey and then mozzarella and Swiss cheese. Let's put that back in there with the broken drawer. <laughs> okay, now step two is going to be to grab our pantry list. Okay, so in our pantry, I'm gonna show you how I had it organized before and how I have to probably rework this and actually put labels on everything that make a bit more sense. So I just had like uh, crackers, popcorn, and pretzels up here. So not really stuff I would plan towards a meal, as well as chips. And then back here is all of our noodles. I tend to have at least a pack of spaghetti noodles and then the, uh, like I call it rigatoni noodles. So I know I have that. I know I have the gluten-free noodles there, so I'm not worried about that. I have plenty of brown rice always on hand, so this is rice and quinoa. So this is perfect to, to notate that because there's... Now for us, we're constantly eating oatmeal on our bar, so we have a special container for that. My husband loves to eat mixed nuts or just specific ones, so he has his area there. It's not my cup of tea. <laughs> Funny, all of his teas there. And then we have my... <laughs> protein workout area stuff and some treats here that basically just need to get thrown out there like Easter candy that we just keep in case my sister well basically my sister used to come over and randomly nibble on that then we got kind of like the coffee section here uh, this is the main area that I'm looking at prior to going to the store so we got black beans uh, corn salsa can of sweet peas and carrots, a bunch of diced tomatoes, you should always have that in your pantry, green chilies. I have a ton of mayo from my son's birthday party. I think someone wanted to make something when they were here, maybe like a um, chicken salad and they didn't end up doing it. 
and then some gluten-free uh, mac and cheese. And let's see, very important. We got bone broth and butternut squash soup. Perfect, so from this, I got a few ideas on what I'm gonna go ahead and cook. Uh, you know, nothing here is gonna be used, this is all baby stuff. Uh, the Henny loves to come in here and let me know what he wants. So that's why we got that. Okay, let's go ahead and let's start looking at some deals. Okay, so after I figured out what was in my fridge, freezer, and pantry, I went on to the Kroger website and I went through their weekly ad as well as their digital coupons to figure out what I should try to target when I look up my recipes. Now, in my previous videos, I was going on Pinterest and I was just really Googling or Pinteresting. <laughs> It's a verb, uh, different healthy recipes. But this time I used a website called All Recipes, which actually allows you to search based off the specific ingredients that you already have for recipes. So I found some really good ones on there that are gonna be a part of this week's me weekly meal plan. And then I went ahead and looked at my weekly ads for Kroger. So when I was doing that, I decided I was going to do the grocery pickup for the very first time. So I am about to pick up my groceries in less than an hour. Uh, so we're gonna see how this worked out for me. I was able to order them this morning and they're ready for pickup between four and five today. So not too bad. Um, I had no groceries prior to this, so we just kind of ate whatever we could uh, while we were <laughs> prior to going to pick up the groceries. So it's gonna be nice to have a bunch and I will get let you guys know how it went. Okay, so catch up in a Hi, so we're back from getting our Kroger groceries from their new program called ClickList. They don't offer it at every single Kroger store. They offer it at one that's about 15 minutes from us. So it was, it was worth the drive. Uh, everything looked really good at first and then when she came out, I, well, let's step back. When I got there, there was a phone number to call. I called that number and a nice lady came out with these cartons with all of our different groceries in them. I went grocery shopping online on Kroger.com this morning through ClickList. And the total when I was checking out there was 180. Now that includes a lot of toiletries for the house, which I'll show you, I'll show you my complete haul. Um, but when I got there, it only ended up being, what do we have here? It was like 152, sorry, someone's being a little clinger right now. So it was 157.57, and she's gonna be taking some more stuff off here uh, in a second because I'm gonna tell you how things went. So here was our haul. Okay, so some of the things that you see here, this is everything that we got that was pretty much right, okay? So our chicken, our meats there, our chia seeds, some layer bars. I'm happy they picked some green bananas because we got so many. Our milks were fine. Uh. Everything here was fine, really right on track. Um, so a bunch of tomatoes, green peppers and onions, and then our spinach, carrots, Greek yogurt, uh, two carton, eggs and then our fruit looked pretty good the watermelon cantaloupe and pineapple um now we get to the stuff that they weren't hey the stuff that they weren't able to fill so i ordered two of those mango lacroix but they were only able to do one so they chose my second one as that pineapple strawberry karate i think it will be yummy <laughs> we'll see um, but they just kind of choose something similar to what you chose now we're gonna go over to kind of the fail station um sorry i got this guy attached to my legs right now so we gotta move a little slowly Come on, Henry. I'll pick you up in a second. <laughs> okay, so this isn't a big deal. I ordered the Folgers, um, it was like the black silk coffee, but they did French roast. Now we get to the weird stuff. So I ordered, it was another chocolate RX bar, but they ran out, so they gave me a berry one. 
Not sure why they wouldn't just give one of the other types of chocolate ones. So they gave me that for free. Um, broccoli florets versus uh, the broccoli stems. That's all right. Uh, this one was weird. Green beans versus green peas. Uh, she gave me this for free because it was such a big error, so I have to go out and buy peas now. I had gotten a different type of these Chobani flips, but they only had the chocolate haze craze, so this I'm not too worried about. I really don't like hazelnut though, so it's all right. And then um, instead of gluten-free uh, buns, they gave me uh, a loaf of gluten-free bread, but Okay, so this is the list of items that they had an issue with and this is kind of the big issue for me is I didn't get the two loaves of gluten-free bread that I was supposed to get. I didn't get the pork chops, um, the second order of chicken breast. Uh, so let's see, everything else, all the stuff that's in bold was the alternate. It's the stuff that I showed you. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, the one cool thing was they did not have my size package of diapers. So instead of 92, I got 128 for the exact same price. So that was a win. It's just a bummer that I have to go grocery shopping again because the whole thing, the point of it was to not have to go grocery shopping. Um, but I just have a small list. Let's stay positive of things to get. And overall, the experience is great raining outside and I was able to get all of my groceries just right out to the car. I didn't have to get Henry out of his car seat even though he was pulling out of it and everything and now I'm going to make some dinner um, and meal prep for the week. I'm just going to make those little 21 day fix egg muffins that I have on my breakfast plan because they're really easy to make. Everything else is kind of make day of. I don't really like doing a big meal prep. The food is usually not appetizing to me. So that was it. I want to know if you guys have tried Click List and if you liked it or what your opinions were of it. I'm not sure if I'll do it again. We'll see. Okay. Thanks. Bye guys. Okay. So stuff just hit the fan. I just realized that they forgot my pumpkin coffee creamer. So, I didn't have any creamer for my coffee this morning. So, without. And now I don't have it again. I call them up, because I'm like, it's not on the list. Turns out when I clicked the button to add it to my list, there was a message that popped up at the top of the screen that said that this is not available anywhere in the Southeast as of yet. What the heck is wrong with you people in the Southeast? People in the Northeast have had this creamer for the last three weeks. That, that was my little freak out. But I never said anything like that to the Miss Lady at Kroger. I said I apologize. I'm very sorry. So tomorrow I'm going to the store and I'm buying my butt some creamer. It doesn't have to be pumpkin. It just has to be some darn creamer for my coffee because I can't do it black and I won't do it with just sugar. Okay, so that's my my little ridiculous rant. Okay, but um, I did want to show you guys one more thing before I end this vlog here today. So for tonight for dinner, we're going to have the spaghetti squash with ground turkey and tomato sauce. So I just took one spaghetti squash, cut it in half and then scooped out the inner, just the seeds and threw them out. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and drizzle some olive oil in them. I have the oven preheated to 400 degrees and I will just let them go in there face down. Okay, so they're open side down onto a pan, a pan for 45 minutes. And then at about like 10 minutes remaining, I'll make the ground turkey and heat up the sauce. And that's really it for dinner. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you guys was those egg muffins that I was talking about for breakfast. So um, here, I'll bring you a little bit closer so you can see. I went ahead and I cut up a handful of spinach, about half of a green pepper, and then another tomato, just one tomato. I have another one here in case we want to see more. I have a dozen eggs whisked up here with um, a quarter teaspoon of garlic 
powder, a half teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of cracked black pepper. I'm gonna take that, and then a half cup of mozzarella cheese. And then we're just gonna put them into these pans that I've already sprayed with coconut oil, and that will be breakfast for the week. So I'm pretty excited about this. I'll show you guys how these turn out throughout the week. But that's gonna be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you have any questions about how I meal prep or wanna see something else in these videos, please let me know. If you like this, subscribe or like it, and I'll definitely continue to make more. Okay, bye.